everyone this is dr jyoti bala today i will be speaking about the effective ways to make your cv stand out we all require effective cvs at different stages whether you are applying for your dream jobs or as a student you are applying for study abroad programs or as a researcher and scientist if you are applying for grants or proposals or maybe you are availing for national and international awards and scholarship we all require these cvs at different stages so i will be guiding you few key points and strategy so that you can make your cv stand out for these purpose my main aim and focus will be for life sciences and biotech people but other students and researchers can also utilize these key point and make your cv stand out by making them as a customized cvs for your uh, customized needs so let's begin this session the agenda of this talk will include by i will be defining you what cvs are what makes cvs stand out what are the few key point which can make your cvs writing effective and lastly i will summarize all the key points here so you can make your cvs in a precise and concise form so what is the cv it's a detailed document which actually highlight your professional experience along with your academic history so usually it is uh, it's contain informations about your educational experience your work experience as a student if you have got some scholarship training course work and project so that wherever you are applying either for grant for job or for awards they can get the ideas about your strength and skills along with that if you are from scientific community then we have to provide them the detail about our publications in terms of if you have written any book research article or review article so we have to give them a detail ideas about our work experience our accomplishments and awards and achievement our strengths so that they get ideas in what way we can contribute to the organizations and the program where we are planning to apply so in a life sciences sector especially you have to provide them as a student your course work training project these kind of details also and your publication details also and also if you are applying for certain institute and academy or job then they have certain format depending on their specialized institute and they will ask you and they will send you that particular format where you have to fill all these information so in a way, in a way depending on from which streams we are coming from and which jobs we are applying for for which purpose there will be certain things which are different and you have to actually provide all these information in a little bit different way so you have to customize your cv depending your your depending on your requirement at what stages and for what purpose we are actually applying and then for making these cvs in a way you can write uh, you can make your manual self uh, you can like use doc and other platforms and you can make your own uh, cvs or maybe you can take the advantage of digital platform a lot of tools and servers are also there they will provide you these things in automated way also but as i said the originality the customization is very important to make your cv stand out so always try to improvise those things and edit those things depending on your needs actually and then if you still are not very comfortable in making your own cv then there are a lot of services you have to pay little bit price and fee for that or you can avail those services customized services and you can get your uh, cvs from them also but that is the last time making a cv is not that difficult task you all can make your cv and effectively customize them according to your need so lot of student and researcher is having confusion regarding what is cv and resume actually what happens in many countries and many states this term itself is interchangeable like mostly in india we use 
resume also and cv also but in us and in certain uh, countries of europe these are non interchangeable actually so cv is actually a detailed informations about your work experience and the professional things and whatever we have discussed in the last slide so all your awards and all your professional and personal details related to your academic and educational things in detail form we have to provide in cv although in a resume we have to give them precise and crisp information in a summary form of those things so your resume will be a sort the summary of your cv actually okay and depending on different countries these term is interchangeable also now let's discuss how to write a cv in a effective way okay so either you are uh, making your cvs yourself in a manual way or you are taking the advantage of customized services or you are taking the advantage of tools and server also in a digital platforms or online servers but you have to improvise and you have to customize them depending on your needs as i said so you have to first thing is that you have to provide them contact details contact details a professional or uh, details about your email your i uh, phone numbers your full name photos are optional but in contact details we have to provide them name phone number email not your full address until and unless it's a job related uh, cv's requirement and if they are asking for your address and all those things until and unless you can just provide them city name country name along with your pin code okay then comes your educational and history so starting from your higher studies and educational uh, either suppose you, I, i have done my phd so i have to write it down from phd to masters and graduation and in that stages if i am going for my scientific job or academia job in that time i don't have to provide them the detail about 10th class or 12th class of examination or school marks although you should have a good grade uh, that is uh, good for you but depending on at what stages you are so if you are uh, in a beginning stages or you are applying for certain scholarships or if you are applying for internship as a student that time you have to provide your school and graduations and master scores also and that information also but make sure whenever you are providing these educational history that time you have to go from higher to uh lower end okay so whatever higher studies you have done from there you have to start and then you go uh, till the your decreasing order then in your work experience and professional experience tell them similar way from your recent present job to whatever experience in the past years you have you have to highlight those things what you have done what you have attained what contribution you have given to those institute and organization highlight all those things what kind of skill set you have learned what different projects you have worked uh, in those areas if you are from science background especially biology and those things then in terms of project publication grant all these we th- uh, we Uh, we have to highlight if you have got some patent and all these things you have to highlight then your technical skills and training your qualification either it's hard skills soft skills you can provide here then whatever awards and honors like you have got some csir gate or whatever awards uh, you have got at different stages we can have obviously as a scientist you might have got different awards or maybe international awards so those things we have to highlight like in my cases i have got international post doctoral award or travel award international award from germany usa and other embel and japan so i have highlighted all those things and uh, in your cases you have to highlight depending on if you are a student so during stu- uh, student level i have got my csir scholarships i was in top 20% of that so these points i have to highlight in my cvs while writing this section if you have like publications 
either book chapter, research article, review articles, these things we can highlight here. These days when you are going for presentations and if you have published um, uh, your abstract or papers in international conference, those things also can be included here. Then, as I said, if you have got some fellowships and grant, these things we can highlight. You can also highlight the additional certification courses and licenses if you have got. Like in my case, I have experience working on radioactivity, virology experiment, gene cloning. So for biosafety lab, for virology, we have different uh, skill set required. And many a time for different streams and different backgrounds, you have certain certifications. Suppose you have done some programming course, data biology, data sciences uh, certification courses. So all these things we have to highlight in this sections because we are giving them the idea that, okay, we have these skill set, additional skill set, which might not be taught in our regular curriculum. If you as a student have done any dissertation, training, independent project at that level, you have to emphasize on these points because there you have learned new technology, you have got ideas about presentation, scientific writing. So highlight all those skill sets, what you have learned in these different dissertations and training program. And then many a time in different jobs, especially in a job interviews, in a final stages, they ask you to provide them personal details about like whether you are married, especially in India, they will ask you about your family details, your address and all these things. So these things are optional. So the, these data is also sometimes they will ask you, but this is not every time we have to provide them. And then Many a time we have to provide them the ideas about our hobbies and interests. This is also optional because this will give an ideas like whether we are able to balance our personal life, professional life in terms of how, what kind of positive trait you might be having. So it will give you an idea about your personalities also. So these things is also optional. Sometimes they ask, sometimes they don't ask. So depending on that, you can modify your CVs. And uh, as I mentioned you um, uh, in past slide also, some academic institute will give you their own template and format and then these information in customized way we have to provide them. So special guideline they will share with you and then on, in that template we have to give all these informations. Okay, so utilize these uh, uh, points and make your CVs uh, highlight the your strength point, skill point, in what way you can contribute, and if you have work experience, how you have contributed in your past work and your projects. Those things we have to highlight, and especially if we are from science background, then our publication details, our project details, grant details, patent information in terms of innovations is also very important. And referee names will be asked sometime, especially if you are a student and if you are uh, planning to apply for early jobs, that time it is very important. But as you, uh, uh, as uh, if you suppose you are a scientist or a faculty, that time when they will ask you for referee writer, then you have to provide the names and the details of your professional uh, circle endeavor so that they can get the ideas about your personal and professional experiences. So that that is also in a way optional. So make your CV in a, uh, I think, uh, in a customized way, highlight your strength, highlight your experience, in what way you can going to contribute to the program and organizations. So I hope this uh, information and the guidance is relevant for you and you can modify or you can make your new CVs if you are a student or as a scientist or as a researcher or professor, you can modify it depending on your needs also. So if you Key takeaways and few points which I want to emphasize in the last is that make your CV customize, 
visually appealing also as we are in a digital time so personalized and customized cvs will be required to highlight your skills uniqueness and contribution if you have some ex uh, experience highlight all those things and yes many students especially they miss this part that they don't check for the grammar and the technical parts so please do that technical check also and try to try to put your uh, originality or some your own touch also like in in a way like uh, some innovative ideas some colors or font so simple also precise also but it should bring some originality and customizations also so i hope this session was relevant for you if you like this video i would uh, request you all to kindly like subscribe this channel and share this information with your friends and with your students and researcher thank you so